finally. I got it plugged into my little Blue Eddy. It's drawing between 33 to 38 right now while it's looking for a, to boot up to find the satellite. Got one cord hooked up to the to the inside of the dish. The modem and the dish, everything is all inside there. So that's all I have to hook up and the satellite are pointed that way so everything's pointed correctly and let's see what it says I think it connected pretty quickly with the, the cord and the power block that comes with it and it's like a 15 meter cord that has barrel connectors on each side one goes one plugs into the antenna itself the other side plugs into the power block or whatever you call it you plug that into your wall outlet or plug it into your inverter or your power power generator whatever you're using there now what everybody wants to know is you know how can you hook it up to 12 volt well when you buy this they don't give you a cord specifically for that so what i did was i I googled it and, and see what everybody's using and the proven ones and there is a couple on Amazon that sell the right cords so I bought one of those but it was only about three foot long and um, it's a it's a USB type C connector and it's a PD and it's it supports up to 100 watts and that's what you need and the other side is the DC mail that you plug into your Starlink right there okay the reason it says PD is because that stands for power delivery and um, what that does is it allows it's a technology that allows a single USB-C cable to provide power and data to a device and it's designed to work with the existing USB systems and but it offers several advantages and most of it being that it gives you a little bit more power and that's what you need to you need that's why you need that for the Starlink because you know I mentioned before whenever it starts up that it'll, looking for the satellites then it's a uh, it'll go up between 34 to 40 watts after it connects though it'll settle down and it'll, it runs between 18 to 20 20 watts now I do have the cable that I bought from Amazon in the picture above but like I said it was only like three feet so I needed something a little bit longer so what I did was I bought two extensions I bought the USB C uh, cable that was an extension but it's PD rated also so it's up to a hundred watts also to make it safe so I bought two of those are six six feet each makes 12 13 14 15 feet was the total length and and for me I wanted to mount it on top of my van I made a little uh, place up there where I could just run the cable down to my um, power supply you know and I have a, a small blue eddy that I could run the C cable directly into and with the bl small blue eddy totally charge up a hundred percent and after it boots up and it's trying to find the satellite and it's settled down between 18 and 20 watts draw then it'll it'll usually last it says a good 12 hours so you know if you have one of those bigger power supplies it's gonna last for a long time 
Now, there's nothing wrong with uh, using the enclosed uh, cord and the power block that comes with the Starlink. You could leave that connected to that and then and run the, the block off your, your inverter and, and your batteries. But you're going to have to take into account that it's going to take a little bit more to keep your inverter running also. I, I don't know, depending on what size it is and how much wattage you're running through it for other things you know then and if and you have to remember that if you want to run some kind of patch cord from the original original cord it's going to be a little bit too long to power the 12 volt because you the longer the cord is for 12 volt then you lose some power along the way so if you're using 45 feet then you're going to lose a little bit of power there uh, here's the here's my little blue eddy showing when I when it was stabilizing there after booting up looking for the satellites and it's going then it went into a thing where it, it, it had an automatic update so it went up to 34 watts that's what I was drawing and then here right here is where it was leveling back down and it was going between 18 to 20 watts <laughs> and here I was going to the park with it and to check it out and uh, and I just had it on the dash and I just said let me, let me hook it up and see if it works and look there you go it's hooked up I've got I've, I've got got this the dish right back there in the background you know and <laughs> so it does work you know even through the glass and stuff by the way on this particular day I went out to this small local lake in a did a little bit of fishing, didn't catch anything, but I said, let me do a live stream and see how the Starlink works out there, and it worked pretty good, you know. I think I was, I did the live stream for almost an hour, if I remember right, and uh, nobody said that uh, it was buffering or freezing up or anything, so seems to work just fine. So, you know, in case you guys are thinking about getting the Starlink, you know, that's that's all I can tell you for right now. The only test I want to do in the future is when I actually go somewhere where I'm really out in the middle of nowhere, you know, and check it out then where I have no phone service or any any kind of service at all. And I'll make a, a Wi-Fi call using, using it, and then I'll do a live stream from wherever that place is too. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, understand all my babbling and stuff <laughs> thanks a lot for watching and uh we'll catch you next time man have a good one take it easy bye